Angels, how are you all? I hope you're all well. Today I'm here to do my really easy wearable vampy makeup that I wore in my last video so without further ado let's get straight to the tutorial. As always my brow tutorial will be linked in the info box. So first I started off with priming my eyelids with eyeshadow insurance in Lemon Drop by Too Faced and I love using this because I wasn't using any eyeshadow and it just really evens out the skin tone of my eyelids. Then I went straight in with the eyeliner and I'm using the Super Liner So Couture by L'Oreal and really slowly and gently lining my eyes and adding a bit of a wing eye to both of my eyes and I'm not concentrating this towards the inner part of the eye but mostly towards the outer part of the eye like you can see here. And then right at the end, just making sure that both of the flicks look as even as possible. For tight lining, I used Perversion by Urban Decay, and I only used this on my upper waterline because I was going to use a nude eyeliner in the bottom waterline. If you watched my September favourites, you'll know that I've been loving the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. So I used this for my eyelashes, and here I'm only doing my top eyelashes first. And always putting like two or three coats of mascara on because I love doing that even though I know it's way too much for my own good. I used the Rimmel Scandalizer Waterproof Nude Eyeliner in my lower waterline and I really layered this on because I wanted it to be quite bright and I didn't want it to kind of budge. For foundation I used the Bourjois Happy Light Foundation and I used the shade 53 and I'm just applying that all over my face using my beauty blender and just making sure that it's like everywhere and nicely blended and I really like the coverage that it gives as well as the finish, it just looks like your skin is like glowing. For concealer I used the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC. 25, which is a few shades lighter than my skin tone, and first I applied it with a Zoeva brush underneath my eyes in a weird triangle shape, and then also on my chin, my cupid's bow down the centre of my nose, and my forehead. And that was just what I had left over on the brush, and then, like always, going in with my beauty blender and blending that all into my skin. I then popped some Carmex on because my lipstick that I was going to be using is quite drying so wanted a good base on my lips. Then using my Ben Nye Banana Powder I'm just going to be setting my concealer with the same beauty blender just under my eyes. Taking the Now by In The Masca on an angled brush I'm applying that to my bottom lash line and I have been loving doing this recently, it just really adds a bit of warmth to the whole look. And I also like building the colour because I don't want it to be too dark. And then going in with the same mascara on my bottom lashes and again putting like two layers on of this as well. Okay maybe I lied, I put like three layers on. <laughs> I then used my new obsession which is the Revolution Makeup Eyeshadow in this shade Delicious as a contour and it's so 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 beautiful. It's a grey toned brown and it's completely matte and the best thing about it all is that it's only £1 in Superdrug and on their website. I love a good bargain. And to add a bit of warmth I used my L'Oreal Glam Bronze in the shade 06 just on top of the contour just that it's looking a bit more warmer. Grabbing Sleek's Pomegranate Blusher, I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and making sure it's really nicely blended into the contour and into the skin. The highlight I used Kevin Aquan Celestial Powder and I just applied that to the top part of my cheekbones and then also into my brow bone as well, just that it gives the whole kind of area a really nice glowy look. And then also not forgetting the cupid's bow because this makes your lips look bigger, a little bit on my chin and at the bridge of my nose and my forehead. 
Now onto my favourite part, the lips. And I used my current go-to lipstick which is Amore by Stila and it's a liquid lipstick. And I first start off by lining my lips and then filling the inside in because I find that that way I do not mess up and get any product where it's not supposed to be. And then I do do about three layers of this because I like it to be super, super intense. And as you can tell, I love this colour. And then to set the whole look, I just put some of my Tarte setting powder onto my foundation, just that it's nice and matte but still glowy because of the foundation. And that's the finished look, you guys. It is so, so, so super easy. And oh my god, the lips are just amazing. As you can see, they literally do not budge. And I love this colour. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I guess I will see you all in my next video. Bye!